What's up guys, today I'm here with the great Chef Gernard and my lovely wife Jordan. Today, Chef, we're cooking some mac and cheese because we have two little ones at home. We want something that's quick and simple. Easy, because I do not cook at all, <laughs> God bless our child, because the only thing I do make is mac and cheese. They get spaghetti, anything noodles, something easy with sauce. Yes, and, that's, and those are great family dishes, you know. That's one of the things, being a father of nine, several <laughs> things that I had to learn. Things that were great that the kids would actually eat and not leave a lot of leftovers and that my wife would love at the same time because we got to remember we're pleasing two people, kids and the missus or vice versa. There we go. So you say you don't cook, we're going to change that today. Okay. Right. And we're going to do like maybe a little healthy take, right? Because I see some broccoli here. Yes, that's, a, that's one of the cool things when you're dealing with kids is learning how to incorporate great vegetables in the dish so they can get the best of both worlds. They get their protein, they get their starch, and they get their vegetables all in one. And the thing is, they're eating it and don't even realize they're consuming it good. Right. And then we start to reform how they think and what they like in the kitchen while at the same time having our own guilty pleasures. Because who don't love good mac and cheese? Mm -hmm. I love mac and cheese. You already, I already love you because you have three different types of cheeses here. Cheese, that's the way to my heart. Anything else would be uncivilized. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so how do we start this off? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get your chopping skills down. We're going to start some broccoli florets. Then go ahead on right in the center. There you I go. i got to be honest with you, I'm a little nervous over yeah. there. Trust me, she has it. She has, if she could give you two beautiful kids, trust me, she can give you some great broccoli. Can't argue with so, that. I can't so argue. while she's dicing up the broccoli, and then from there, I want you to go ahead and, and slice some sausage up about a quarter inch thick. But now let's start off on our bechamel. All right. We're gonna start off this with a Ooh. stick of butter, and that's what you want. All and right. what you do is, the cool thing when you put the butter in there, because you already have your pie hot, add a little of your extra virgin olive oil to it to keep it from truly browning. Okay. And I want you to go ahead and add that all purpose. The whole, the whole yes. thing? Now I want you to start stirring this. So okay. You, yeah, you can keep that I'll note. keep trying. While you're stirring that, we're going to go ahead, because hence it is macaroni, we're going to get our macaroni going. So there's no right or wrong way of cooking your macaroni. I always suggest cooking it al dente because this dish is going to go in the oven afterwards. Okay. Now we're going to add in the heavy cream in here. Before our cheese go on, you want to start adding your flavors. This is how you give your food character because food is first base. Right. Food is always, it is, it really is. You think the first kiss is, but it's not. If food is not there, nothing else transpires in the relationship. It's all about the flavor. So we're gonna add all in right. a little smoked paprika. We're just, we're just trying to get the first base. Yes, exactly, let's all always right. say Oh, Now our nutmeg. And now we're gonna add in our cheese. Oh yeah. Yes, we have some nice shredded gruyere. Now remember, whenever you're making a macaroni, the cheese is your domain. So whatever cheeses you like, that's how you bring it into your world. We have some cheddar here. I also like to use smoked cheddar cheese that really gives I like it a full that. body right. flavor along with the smoked paprika. And now my all time favorite is smoked Gouda. Love, you so, wanna give this a stir? Yes, cause sure. we're getting ready to bring you this in. Cause she's you the one chop. who needs some. You, oh, you want me to chop? And let's bring in our creamy cheese sauce. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add in your broccoli and your sausage. This is how that you want it. That looks good. Yes, so good. yes, yes. This is me, like at home. <laughs> He's cooking and I'm sitting right there just watching Watch him it. eating cheese and crackers and like wine or beer. What you want to do is you want to add a little oil to the bottom of your porridge dish. You add that in so when it's time to pull it out, when it's time to actually clean, you don't have a lot of the sticky stuck on residue. You can't waste that cheese. Oh no. So I want you to add a little of that gruyere to the top of it. And then what do you set the oven to? We set the oven on 325. So now we're gonna pop that in the oven. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. I know. Get out of here. Oh, that looks yeah. That so good. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Wow. So is now, that finished now? You got any special touches or is it ready to go? It's finished. It's us ready to eat. This is how you want it. Oh my God, that's yes, wow. yes. A little wow. bit more of the cheese over the top of it, just for a finisher. You said food is first base. Always, yes. That's yes. round and third right there. Yes, so. All right, here's give it a try. All right, here we go. Yes, Sorry. it's a little hot there, so 
the cows is what Oh man. That looks real good. Yes. What do you think, love? You can make this? Oh yeah, for sure. They I'm trying to lose win? my baby weight. I'm gonna forget it now. <laughs> no, no. The, the biggest kids I always share with everyone, if, and I always tell my wife this: if you want to lose the baby weight, what you do is you can eat whatever it is you want. The key is you have to eat it with a fork because all the calories fall through the cracks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good tip. Well, Chef, thank you so much. This was thank delicious, you. and you know I've actually learned a lot. I like to cook. I learned a lot. I know you've learned a lot. I did, thank you so much. Thank you, yes. So thank you so much, I loved it, and uh, we're gonna put you in the kitchen now. Yes. Yes, see what I started, high five then, let's you. get it in. Yeah, chef, thank yes. you so much. <laughs>